Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Some apps are only available in certain regions, so if you're in a country where they haven't been released, you usually can't view and download them from the App Store. But what if I told you that there's a simple way to get around this restriction? In this video, I will show you how to download apps even if they're not officially available in your country. Let's go! It was so frustrating when I couldn't find the new app I wanted to download on the App Store. But guess what? I found a really helpful tool that solved this problem. This tool lets you install apps that might be restricted, banned, or just not showing up in your region. There's no need for any complicated hacks, jailbreaking, or even a VPN to make it work. If you want to check it out yourself, you can use my link below to download it and finally get the app you want to install. Once you've installed and opened the software on your computer, connect your iPhone using an original or MFI certified cable. After it's successfully connected, navigate to the app section from the main screen. To find and install applications, go to the App Store page under the Apps category. Then type the app name you want in the search bar, and click the Install icon to download and install it directly on your device. Once it's installed, you should see it on your iPhone's home screen. Note that only free applications can be searched and downloaded using this tool. Additionally, you can also reinstall apps that you've removed or that are banned from the iOS App Store. But this only works if you've already downloaded the app previously with your Apple ID. To do this, first sign in to your Apple ID in the software. Then simply click the download icon next to the app you want to install from the recommended section. Still can't find the apps you want? Well, you can easily send feedback so that the support team can try to add them in their next updates. Just click installed apps removed in the upper right corner. Enter the name of the apps you'd like to install in the future and submit the feedback. Keep an eye out for their next update to see if the app you need is finally available. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.